So there's so many different things that you can do to enhance the value of your After Effects projects. That's why in this video, I'm going to be talking about a handful of awesome detailed motion graphic techniques that you can apply to pretty much every single project that you work on. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I hope everyone is having a great day today. So we're gonna be talking about a handful of techniques that can be implemented in a wide range of projects. So our time codes are below if you wanna skip around and learn something very specific, but without wasting more time, we're gonna jump into our video and we're gonna get started. All right, to get started off, we're gonna go ahead and create these animated titles that you see on the sides of our composition. Just brings a nice level of detail to our comp. So come over here, all I have in here is some background footage. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the textile tool and grab the vertical type by clicking and holding. And we'll just draw a box like this, you know, to fit the size of our comp. And you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and grab some text. So grab your favorite topic on the internet and just copy some type and go ahead and paste it inside of that box. And you'll have this vertical type like so. And what I would do is paste it in there several times. Perfect. And go to your paragraph window and click on the justify all tab. And this will square off your title box very nice. Then what you can do is come here to your title layer, go to animate and add just a character offset. And all you do is all click the stopwatch for character offset and you can type in time, asterisk, you know, five, 10, whatever number you wanna do. And this will animate your title and make it look like we have something going on here. And then now we'll have an animated title here on the side of our composition. If we want, we can take this and we can go to edit, duplicate, and you can bring it to the other side of your comp if you want to do that as well. And a quick little tip, you can grab the textile tool, you can click in your title, and you can drag the box a little bit to make it shorter or a little bit thicker to variate it by a touch. All right, so we got the animated titles here on the side, but we need to enhance these even further. So let's talk about adding random symbols into your work, as you can see over here. Very easy to do this. So what we're going to do is we'll grab the textile tool, the horizontal type is good and we'll click anywhere and we'll come here to our character window and we're going to type in wingdings yeah remember that from elementary school yeah we're going to use wingdings and we can increase the font size by a little bit and you can type out any character on your keyboard and you're going to get a pretty unique uh you know title and what we're going to do here is there's no animation to this simply all we're going to do is we're going to come here to begin our timeline and go forward by say four or five frames and then we'll go to edit split layer and then we'll grab our textile tool again and we'll select our title and we can type in another uh, character and then move forward by a few more frames, four frames or so, five, up to you. And you split the layer and then we'll continue this process for this to be maybe a minute long and anything random is good. All right, and I went through this and I've added these series of characters in here just by using the wingdings uh, typeface, which you never thought you would see that in an After Effects video. But when you have all your titles in here, we gotta keep this loopable. So what we're gonna do is grab all of our titles, go to layer pre-compose, and you just call it wingdings if you wanna call it, call it whatever you want, click okay. So then what we'll do is move our playhead to the last title in our sequence. And what we're gonna do is right click our layer, go to time and click on enable timer mapping. All right, awesome. All right, so then what we're gonna do is go in back into our composition and what we'll do is make sure that our out point is at the end of our title. Right click it and click on trim comp to work area. So the only thing we'll see is our titles. We'll go back into our previous composition and this time around we'll right click our layer, go to time and click on enable time remapping, okay? And you'll have this going on, not forever, but what we need to do is all click the stopwatch and type in loop out just like this, so capital O with the open and closed parenthesis, and then just like that. And what is gonna happen with, with that exact expression? This will loop on forever. So then what we can do is hit Astron Keyboard for scale. We can scale down our layer and then put these into random places within our composition. We can create another duplicate. We can bring it over, say over here, and then we can just offset this layer in time so we have a different symbol. And if you did enough variations, it'll look completely original. So now you'll see that we have these titles just kind of animating here like that. And you know, actually there's no animation. It's just very simple and easy to do. And before we break down our next technique in this video, I want to give a huge shout out to our 500 motion graphics starter pack extension right here inside of After Effects. So this is our motion graphic starter extension where we can preview hundreds of elements just by hovering over them inside of After Effects within any After Effects project. And we have hundreds of titles accent motion graphics, animated backgrounds, and more within this one pack. And when we find an asset that we want, we can just click on apply and it automatically applies a title animation to our composition, which we can go into and easily change out our titles. And we can come into our control layer and make any adjustments to help fit our title best. 
and easily change the color of any elements and titles very easily. And to help enhance this even further, we can come here and apply a quick cluster to take this to the next level with a click of a button. So within about a minute's worth of time, we've been able to put together a full composition with some really nice details very quick with our motion graphics starter pack. And we have several other packs that we can easily switch over to and start applying templates from there as well. So if you're looking to save a tremendous amount of time while producing awesome work, you can take a look at our motion graphics starter pack along with our other packs with the links below off our website. If you do pick up anything from our website, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. All right, so for our next technique is simply to add an extra title in here that flickers and perhaps this can be an important word to your video or something, but just a quick little technique. So I already have our title typed out in here. And when you have a title ready to go that we can insert, say to the side of our graphics here, you hit R and keyboard for rotation and set this to say negative 90 degrees or 90 degrees, depending on what side you want to put this on. And we can simply just move this nicely in place and you can ask for scale and we can scale it down to kind of match our other graphics that we have here. And to create a flicker title, it's really easy to do this. So what we'll do is open up this layer, go to animate and just add an opacity and we'll lower our opacity down to 0%. We'll open up that range selector one, come here to the advanced tab and where it says randomize order, set that to on. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the start percent and we're going to go ahead and increase this until like maybe only one letter is missing. So 83%. And then we can all click the stopwatch for start and we'll type in wiggle open parenthesis two comma 100 close just like that and now we'll have our nice animated title that will be flickering all the way throughout and it's really nice touch to it all right so for our next technique i want to go ahead and add some side graphics here that are animating so what we'll do is we'll grab the pen tool here at the top and make sure i selected click on the word fill set that to none click ok Click on the word stroke and set this to solid color and click OK as well. And simply what we'll do is we'll click a point, hold down shift on our keyboard and we'll draw a straight line like this. You can change the stroke width here at the top if you want to. And then what we'll do is we'll open up our shape layer one, come here to add and we'll add a repeater to this and we'll open up repeater one and you can come here to transform repeater one. You can change the X position if you want to have more of a gap in there and then increase the number of copies you know, to a ridiculous amount just like that. And you know, that's pretty cool. What we can do here is just hit R on keyboard for rotation and we can set this to like 90 degrees. All right, then we can move this over to like the side of our composition, just like that. And then we'll come here at the beginning of our timeline and we can hit P on keyboard for position, add a keyframe for it. And we can move forward in time to say the end of our comp. And simply we could just bring up the Y position here and this will animate our lines to go across. And I think that is a really nice touch to what we're doing. So as you can see, those lines will animate up and if you want, you can duplicate them and move over to the other side. You can put them on the top and bottom of our comps, which is a really cool technique as well. All right, so for our last technique, I'm gonna showcase how to animate a grid like this and how to create it. You can scale this down and move it to any of the sides of your comp, but it's really easy to do this. So what we're gonna do is go to layer, new, solid, and we'll call it grid. We'll set our color to white, click okay, and then go to effect, generate, and we're gonna add a grid effect. All right, awesome. We'll come here to our width slider and we'll come here and just increase this and it'll give us a square look here. You can set this up to like 200 or whatever, but I'll set mine around like 146-ish. And then we'll come here to border width and you can change this to like six. All right, so that's pretty much it with that. But what we wanna do here is now take this layer, go to layer pre-compose and we'll call it grid, move all attributes to the new comp, click okay. Then what we're gonna do is come here and grab the rectangle tool. And we're simply just going to mask out a nice portion, like a nice square here. And, you know, that should be fine. And when you have a nice, perfect square box in here, then we're ready to animate this. So we'll go ahead and center this. And then let's come here and grab the pan behind tool before we animate this. And let's make sure the anchor point is right in the center of our uh, grid. Then what we're going to do is make sure this is a 3D layer by clicking that 3D layer icon. And then we'll hit R on keyboard for rotation. And we have our Y and Z rotation. Let's all click the subwatch for Y rotation and type in wiggle. Open parenthesis 0.5 comma 200. Copy the expression. All click the stopwatch for Z rotation. Paste that in there. And now we'll have an animated grid in here. And you can scale this down and move it anywhere inside your composition just for, as an extra detail element for your video. So that is our tutorial on these detailed motion graphics. If you want to learn more techniques like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below. And always be creating.